Hello, goddesses. I freaking missed you guys. Mwah, mwah. Hope you're feeling safe. Hope you're feeling loved, appreciated, adored. Because I adore you and I love you. So, I want to speak on this topic. And it's very hard to talk about this. Because I don't have anything orchestrated. Or I don't have any written lists or anything like that. Usually I have everything pinpoints of what I want to talk about, but specifically for this topic, I just kind of want to just lay it low and just talk about what's on my brain. And if it don't come out right, then bitch, you guys will see that and you guys will say however you guys feel and that's fine. Because the thing is, I love hearing you guys' opinions too, so period. But um, I think it's really important that like we, as girlies, become our own peace become our own inner peace and I feel like we don't do that enough <laughs> I we often surround ourselves with people who literally our body reject and what I mean by that is whenever we are around this person or this type of energy we start crying or if we are around this person um, we start to get nervous our our nervous system starts to freak out um we start to get stressed we start to our hair starts to fall out um we get bigger not in the size that we want to get big in but have necessary weight gain we start to like even down there some girlies and i've had been one of the type of girlies tmi that your body down there physically like rejects the person because Physically and spiritually, they do not align to you. And I noticed that some girlies would keep those type of people in their spaces because they don't want to be alone. They hate to be alone. And the problem is, like, you need to be alone. You need to be alone. And there is no, there's no shortcut to, like, love. It's just, like, you need to understand that when it comes to your inner peace, you have to learn your inner peace before you start seeking it out, you know? You have to learn to be in peace with yourself, even when it feels so wrong to do so, even when it feels extremely uncomfortable. And mind you, it's gonna feel uncomfortable for a small bit of time, but when you get used to it and you start to understand yourself and you start to understand your quirks and the things that you are, and you will start to appreciate it more. So it's like, before you start seeking out a person, chasing a dream, chasing anything like that, make sure you have the inner peace to do so. Surround yourself with people who are there for you, girly, and not just there for temporary gains, right? I think I would want you to be more, not skeptical of people, but just more um, observant of people and their actions because people's body language says a lot people's actions speak so much louder than words and don't be fancied easily by people's words because it doesn't matter like it doesn't matter what any person says like your actions will always be the most it just reveals the most out of you and especially when you are in the most vulnerable state and you allow these people to just treat you the way that they usually treat you it's like it's it's gonna keep damaging you it's gonna keep hurting you they're not gonna change and i feel like it's okay to be open that people are gonna change but the problem is most of the time they don't and if they do they have to take a like be away from you to actually change and they have to actually show you that they changed. Don't let your brain just assume that just because they've been away from you for a while that they changed. It's like, what are they doing about their actions that show you that they've changed, right? I don't think that we should tolerate, <laughs> as, as girlies who are trying to maintain their peace, I feel like it's important to not tolerate bullshit. <laughs> It's so important, and especially if you are a sensitive girly like me who picks up on things that I probably fucking should not. Sometimes I pick up on shit and I'd be like, damn, I wish I didn't pick up on this shit because if I picked up, if I didn't pick up on it, I would have been cool with this person. But the problem is, this person's energy is fucking whack and it pisses me off. So now I have to cut them off. <laughs> but that's just how I've always been, and I feel like we 
as I said, we cling unto energies that don't serve us. And that's not, that's not the vibe. And it would never be the vibe. So before you think about meeting that dream person, chasing that dream job, chasing anything in life, you need to create inner peace, create love within yourself. And how to do that is literally fall in love with your flaws. Fall in love with the things that you said you hate about yourself. Learn to accept those things because at the end of the day, your you, who you are as a person, you will be in your body for the entire time you exist on this earth. So why not do the things you need to do to appreciate yourself? Why not love yourself and understand yourself and actually want to be more of yourself, right? Because a lot of people, it's crazy because so many people in this world, they are navigating to where they don't even know who they are because for their entire lives, they've listened to people tell them who they are. But when you don't hear that noise, we don't hear that sound, who are you actually, right? That's why it's so important to really think about this and reflect on it. And it's like, of course you're not gonna be perfect, bitch. Of course you have done mistakes in life that you fucking regret. As a person, I've done that. Um, there's people on this earth that I've hurt. There's people on this life that have been hurt by me or or I've hurt them or they hurt me or whatever, whatever. But at the end of the day, I think you should just forgive yourself and understand that those things happen in the past. Sometimes it's meant to be a lesson for you to understand and let go. You don't need to like carry on pain so much. It's not a badge of honor. It's not cute. It's not funny. It's not quirky. It's it's bitch it's actually damaging you and i feel like we as people we do way too much of that we do way too much of like oh he hurt me da, da, da. so you know i'm going to carry that in my heart so when i go to the next person who actually loves me and wants to understand me i'm going to carry that energy to that person like don't do that your pain is not a badge of honor bitch like you should work through that and what i mean but and then of course like it's going to take a while to work through it but Understand being alone is like an amazing thing because that means you're free. Like you're free to understand yourself. You're free to do the things that you want to do. You're free to choose how you want to spend your time with. And usually that time should be with yourself. And I understand like you want to have a supportive circle and that's good and all. And of course you should have a supportive circle. But at the end of the day, please try to be your supportive circle before you start seeking out support from others. And the thing is, when you are most sure of yourself and you are your most authentic self, you will attract people who are also authentic, who are also loving and who are also grounded in themselves. So I truly believe that, like, as I said, seeking your inner peace is the most important thing and most valuable thing you can do on this earth. That's the only way that you can survive and stop being around people who literally your body rejects. Whenever you run around this person, if you are feeling scared or nervous or your body goes into random panic attacks that used to happen to me or if you start to feel sick or gross or angry because sometimes even in anger your body can reject somebody else like you do not understand how gifted your intuition is and how your body is and it's like when you feel that bitch let it go like me let it go that means your body's telling you hey this is not good for me Hey, this is, this is not good for me. If this person said, if the person is making you cry a lot or be depressed or sad or any type of like negative emotion over and over and over again, that just means your body is just not connecting to them and that's fine and that your body is rejecting them and it's time for you to leave. And I know there's some people who are afraid to be alone and what I will say to those people is that... <sighs> When you are alone, same thing. You are the most freest. You are free from judgment. You are free from um, pain. Not necessarily pain, but just more so of like judgment. Because at the end of the day, when you are the most alone, you are the most vulnerable. -ness. And when you don't become vulnerable and understanding towards yourself, it's very hard for you to do that towards others. And I feel, as I said, I feel so bad for people who are not deep within themselves or understand themselves better because when you become like your most authentic self you become extremely just more happier <laughs> and I feel like that should be the goal in life is to be happy is to like attract 
good things in your life because you are meant to be happy. Believe it or not, you are meant to be happy and you are meant to show people how to be happy and you're meant to make a difference. So that's just how I've always been feeling. I don't know. So I don't know. Just sometimes, as I said, I want to speak my shit and say my piece. And there are times where I'm just like, here I girl, I want to shut the fuck up. And so lately, yes, I have been quiet. But at the end of the day, I don't know. That's just kind of what's funny on my mind. Um, just understanding yourself. Because at the end of the day, girl, please don't lose yourself. And if you do lose yourself, bitch, pick yourself back up. Because you, if you love yourself, you can always find yourself again. It doesn't matter. And then don't lose yourself in a person. Because, oh my God, that is so scary. Because <laughs> when you lose yourself in a person, it's like, you will obviously come back from it. But trust me, it's going to be a lot. <laughs> because some people, they put their entire identity in someone. And then once that person leaves or go it's like they take in that identity with them and it's very hard to come back from that but just trust me know that you can't come back from that and as i said love everything's gonna be okay i just feel like seeking your inner peace is the most valuable thing you can do right now and i want you to do that that's all i want to do <laughs> but anyways that's my piece i said my word i will talk to you ladies soon okay i know i haven't been i've been going but i will be back soon i just need some time to you know be a girly on the universe that's it <laughs> but in regards i love you guys i miss you guys i shall see you guys later bye